Yo, what's up and welcome to another video of Road to Planche. Last time I posted a video about the Road to Planche was about three weeks ago, I think. For those who are new to the channel and don't know about Road to Planche series, it's the series where I show you my road towards learning the planche, actually the work, the ups and downs. And for those who have been following for a long time, you know that I've had my ups and downs. I have my downs, I have my ups and everything between that. But today is a new video and many have asked me how tall I am and what my weight is. So I'm actually 183 centimeters and 80 kilos. The exercises that I'm about to show you in this video is new. I haven't done them before so I'm still learning to manage them. And some of you might say, but then you might not be ready for those exercises. But I have another way to approach it. The way I'm approaching it is that I should not have them perfect. I'm working to get them better. So my first goal is to learn the actual, to do the exercises right. So it's like a progression towards the exercises and not the progression towards the planche, but rather thinking a progression towards the exercises that I'm, I'm learning. So, so that's my first goal, to learn to do these exercises better and better. And not focusing on, yeah, the planche, doing the planche, the straddle planche or full planche, what? no just focusing on these exercises get good at them and for those who don't know road to planche hoodies and t-shirts are available you'll find the link to the shop in the description down below i created these because i wanted to get the community closer and for those who are following the road to planche and also are on their own road to road to planche Maybe we can get together, work on that. I know many of you are on the way to planche. So if you want a hoodie like this or another hoodie, go down below to the link in the description. Where do I find it when everything else is falling down around me? And nothing is going my way, I'm so weak and I feel like I'm drowning. Not anything anyone saying, it's up on my inside, is broken. We're holding our son and he's fighting to breathe on the inside, he's choking. He's turning his head from the left to the right and it's hard as a beat. He came out at 17 weeks, developed with beautiful feet. I was looking at you lying there in my arms, like could you be a problem? The doctor said you had no hope way before you popped back and he solved it. My emotions were being torn with, I was spinning around, I'm no fidget. I'm no midget, my faith is high, grabbing my singing, I'm dialing those digits. But my wife been bleeding for months on the verge of dying, she been fighting. I'm praying and crying, the scriptures, but nothing was working, I'm trying. I fight in the hope that I know when the body of Christ is surrounded. I'm falling, they pick me up, I can't do it, I'm on my heart pounding. I'm in love with this boy and he's only been living a couple of hours The hospital lights are not working, they're here coming down to the showers Is aching the death of my son, why can't he not be here? Well, I'ma be honest, I try to be strong, but nothing is clear I wanted to raise him up and teach him how to be a man To be strong in the Lord, even when no one else understands I kick it with fans, they asking me questions, praying for me So as you can see, those are new exercises that I have not done before And it doesn't look pretty at all, not at all And one thing I'm lacking really is keeping that hollow body and protraction Really the protraction, like the first time I did the exercises I felt more in the side of my lats rather than in the shoulders I was protracting wrong I can do the protraction better uh, on the floor but when I, I'm trying to connect the whole body I'm losing it so these are the exercises I'm trying to learn and th these are gonna mimic the whole movement connect the whole body and I know I know I know the form is not good but I'm working on that it's okay after looking at all the people that actually have a planche and learned the planche, they don't, nobody's perfect from the beginning. I think we are too stuck with thinking, yeah, everything should be perfect from the start. Like, you don't need to l think that you're gonna learn the planche, but rather learn this exercise, learn to perform it 
perfect. And that's what I'm trying to think. Like my mentality towards these exercises and towards the training is rather more learn this exercise and not th don't think about the end goal. Think about this exercise, focus on that. you need to live now mommy i miss you i wish i could kiss you and i got so many issues and now my issues got issues ah. ready and every confetti up on the scenery and see me leave this greenery dreamily change the scenery that's just a kin to me finicky all this energy enemy ain't no hennessy remedy all my enemies ah. Gotta flow, gotta show, gotta blow, gotta get out of it Now let me go, let me know, let me know the thoughts up in my brain Let me, then let me, get, let me be, but you can't fix the pain It's like paralysis, now what a marriage is Leave him in bandages and everything will vanish It's slow, man, it's so man, it's on me before he die It's life's a journey, so come along, enjoy the ride like Ooh. If I had a penny or a dollar Every time somebody holler About what they gon' do for me Boy, I'd be rich Oh, your sister knows who And your brother gon' do Something for us But they just ignore Steady boys with a chorus And check the flow now No, now I don't wanna hear About the years getting old now Oh, now Back to work and nine to five The suit seam Everybody got a jersey on me Bunch of old dreams Take off my jersey Don't trouble you Got the W Trouble you with the struggle Do juggle Do about the W They pay them top dollar Play the role of Scott Tyler Stop Scott Slice my style, a dollar rock baller. It's like paralysis, no what a marriage is. Leave him in bandages and everything will vanish. It's slow, man, it's so man, it's on me before he die. It's like the journey, so come along, enjoy the ride like After the third workout within a week, I got super frustrated because I couldn't, ma I couldn't manage to do the protraction right. I know I can do it. I know I have the strength to hold myself in a good protraction. I couldn't. I don't know why. And because I've seen so many people and so many people have told me, this is how you do a protraction. This is how you do it. So I've been focusing on this protract, like bring your shoulders forward and then down as well. But after speaking with Eric Ortiz, and asking him about what is like what is my problem do you think with the protraction why can't i manage it and then i sent him a video he was looking and said i think you're overdoing it he said many beginners overdo things like they over protract overdo it from the beginning and this i think this is what i did i didn't push my shoulder forward at the same time as i bring my shoulders down rather to have a protraction i lost it and had the retraction and that's why I felt more in, much more in my lats rather than my shoulders and biceps. So this was something I tried and he explained also the protraction for me, how he thinks and how his brother thinks. And after trying that, it was totally different.
So after the fifth workout, I started to feel really good, like starting to feel that, oh, I'm progressing in the exercises. I start to understand my body, start to understand to also lean more forward. That's something I need to focus on because the planche is a lot of lean. If you have, look, your hands should be uh, underneath your hips. If I'm go ever gonna lift towards a full planche, my hands needs to be underneath my hips. Like in the line, you understand? Yeah, you understand. So I tried to lean more, hold that hollow body, protract everything, and I really felt that I have progressed a bit, like 10%, it doesn't matter for me, 10% is good enough. My goal with these exercises is to just focus on learning, focus on learning, learning, learning. So my body can adapt to the lean more and connecting the whole body, because it's so easy to just hold with your shoulders and nothing else, Like, but then when I start to connect with the lower body, that's when I really lose everything. And I was supposed to do the last workout of week two, but I got food poison, so that didn't help. So now I've rested for a couple of days, I think four days or something. I'm gonna do my workout today, but you'll see that in the next video. But this is where I am today. I wanna know what you think. This is something that I do right now, and this is, these are my thoughts around the exercises and why I'm doing it. And my shoulder feels fine, I feel fine, I'm really happy for that. Many of you know already that I had a shoulder injury, not a really an injury, I had stress-related injuries. I don't know how to explain that. But I'm back, back, back towards the hard exercises again. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, always slow and steady, slow and steady. So the next road to planche is in two weeks. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and also hit that like button if you wanna support this channel. And I will see you in the next video.